Hey everyone, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses Redux. Last time we defeated uh, Shadi, Jasper Dice Tutor, and Bakura all quite easily. And today we're facing off against Yugi in Brestois. In, in, in Brest. We're facing him on, on a breast. Yeah, this might be the finale, depending how well these two fights go. Um, generally speaking, though, Yugi has a tendency to take a while. That being said, we do have Ancient Tree of Enlightenment to start off. And Ancient Tree of Enlightenment makes uh, essentially sure that he doesn't get any mirror forces off. So that helps in a way. Of course, now it's mostly about, like, Dark Magician and Magician of Black Chaos, who we need to be uh, careful about. Because those two are obviously like a big threat too. But uh, early forest is also really good. Um, yeah, I really don't want him to like potentially shoot down my forest with something he spawns in. Now I'm just gonna throw in the forest straight away. And make a Rose Spectre of Dawn. So I know that the fiends are weakened on the forest. I don't think the spellcasters are. I don't actually. Actually, spellcasters are like weakened on plane. So, there's that. And yeah, fitting our deck out a bit is also not a bad thing. But he doesn't attack into us. Raid of Mercy, I think we'll get rid of these two cards as well. Whatever this card is, it does not um, get its effect off because of um, because of Agent Tree of Enlightenment. Perfect card to draw, really. What was that card? It was a mirror force. Hey, hey. Alright, he's running off at this point. Mm, we don't get anything really stronger than that, but... Not a Rose Spectre of Dungeon to 2500 damage to... Uh, to the opponent. Source of Revealing Lights is an annoyance here. Alright, well he, go he throws that thing back into attack mode. I mean, you can still just win by uh, doing this. <clears throat> it 
See, yeah, that's Yugi defeated very simply because, like, the thing that makes Yugi the most scary is obviously his, like, three mirror forces and then he recycles those another, like, three times usually. But with Agent Tree of Enlightenment, um, you could just ignore that and then, like, his most threatening monsters are Dark Magician Girl, Blade Game, and Magician of Black Chaos. But he just didn't have those guys. And so we beat uh, Yugi in five minutes, which is probably like one of the quickest times where I've ever beaten him. And now we get ready for the final boss, which, to be honest, uh, this side's uh, definitely a lot easier than uh, than the side where he has the crush cards, but. This side's still not easy, like it's still very RNG dependent. This one's probably more RNG dependent than the other one, honestly. However, it does help that fiends are weakened in four, so he does lose like the five like five hundred points in strength. And generally speaking, our deck can be pretty quick. Although like he's got three copies of Tremendous Fire and I think three copies of Ryoku as well as just like things like Gorgonai which could fuck us up. Um, because of that I think I will use something like Grave Robber. So let's get, let's throw away like one of the old, one of those two and Grab ourselves, um, Grave Robber. And, you know, we've got, like, basically, like, most of the episode, or at least we've got a plenty of time to, uh, to beat him. Perfect opening uh, card there. Well, no trap cards for you, I suppose. I mean that. I mean that makes that kind of throws away half the difficulty. Um, right, he gets a tremendous fire though to start off with. That's never great. That being said, though, uh, that makes his Ryoku weaker. I have to wait to turn. Barry King Truesdale, I think, is just important. Yeah, at this point I'd want a forest guard, and then we'd really be good. Oh wow, that's that's really good. We just got undeniably a really good opening here. Similar to the the last battle against Yugi, we've that this is really good, like really good. Like, damn, I'm just surprised with how, like, obviously everyone can go to shit the moment he gets a Ryoku, right? Like, Zerdaman Ryoku could still fuck us up. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that the other card, uh, the card over here, is probably either a Gorgon Eye or a Gravity Bind.
And that card was a mirror wall. Well, it's also a possibility. A weakened Zoa. Slightly worrying that if I go over here, he puts something over here to attack me. But that... I'm gonna risk it. I'm just gonna risk it. See, he doesn't do it. He does not do it. Another Tremendous Fire is a little annoying, but... Um, I think we've won. Actually, not yet. But... Hmm, um... I don't want to set myself up vulnerable. I think we- I thought we won, but uh... Never mind. Dimension Hall, okay. Time to use the forest guard here, turn that space into forest, and that allows us to attack into uh, him again. And I think we now officially win. Wow, yeah. You know. It's pretty hard to describe how, like, we, pay, we got the perfect, we, we had an absolute perfect game against, I think, both of them. Like, that's really the only thing to say. It's, everything went perfectly. Uh, getting Ancient Tree of Enlightenment on the first turn on, against both of these opponents is probably what um, allowed us to just dominate them, right? Because both of them are a little reliant on... Like, especially Yugi. Yugi is completely relying on Mirror Force uh, being used. And Mana Wedan Fablir, I mean, has just a lot of really strong trap cards. Like Gravity Bind, Mirror Wall, Gorgonai, Mirror Force. Although, uh, unlike Yugi, he also has really car strong spell cards. But uh, I guess it just didn't happen for him. And I, I ended up just getting the cards I needed on both occasions. And like, I mean, we beat both of them in like less than 15, in less than 15 minute, minutes, which sometimes I have to face this guy for an entire episode long, you know? So, I, I, it's, it, it's, it's clear to say that the plant deck is actually like really good. Um, it's just that. Like, it's pretty tremendous how bad the starter deck is. Like, the starter deck essentially just gets all of the plant cards except the good ones. You're getting everything except the good ones. All the good plant cards you're not given in the starter deck. And in turn, kind of makes the starter deck really shit for plants. But um, the moment you get some good cards, it becomes really good. And we didn't even get Woodland Sprite, unfortunately. Um... We didn't get Woodland Sprite, you get them from uh, Darkness Ruler, apparently. And, uh... You need to, like, break your deck leader out of the, like, little cage it is in, in the beginning. Which is not easy to do. But, um... Even despite him... Or even despite the fact that we're not getting him, uh... The plan deck's really good, um... The main thing is obviously very easy fusions or and very cost effective fusions into Rose Spectre of Dawn and Queen of the Autumn Leaf. As well as having a, a card that just gives all planned monsters 500 extra. Like, Fairy King Cruise Dale is incredibly overpowered. 
add that to the fact that you got Raid and Mercy that boosts everything up. And you have Ancient Tree of Enlightenment made plants one of the best in the game. Ancient Tree of Enlightenment, I didn't realize how good that card was, but that's a card that is honestly good enough to be in any deck. It's that's a card that's just straight up useful in every single deck. And you know, whenever I get the chance to snag it in another playthrough, I'll probably put it in the deck. As most of the battles are hard due to the fact that they have good trap cards, and being able to ignore that is massive. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this playthrough. The next playthrough is probably going to be Sea Serpents. So, I'll see you guys then. That might be tomorrow or next week, depending on how this lines up in uploads. But I think it's actually, I think this is going to be uploaded on the first day. And on the Friday we'll have the new uh, playthrough. So, uh, probably. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys um, on the next run. Goodbye.